All right, uh, how do I want to do this? I guess I'm going to shut the truck off here. No, no, wait a minute. I'm going to start the U-Haul, uh, put the AC on that so I can let the truck take a break on idling. Then we're going over to get a haircut and then from that point, We're going to take the RV back. I guess that's what we're going to do. Oh, shoot. I got to grab something. I got to grab something. It is muggy out here. It is definitely muggy out here. What up, guys? Oh, shoot. Yeah, and, and, and if I shut the door, I do have a key. But shut the door, they might lock me out. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna start this up, put the air condition on. I moved the RV so it wouldn't be blocking while I was asked to, you know? The RV, or the RV. The U-Haul was in the way. I'm gonna let them sit in here. It's a little easier on the fuel. What was I gonna grab? Oh, I need to. Yeah. This is my login and everything. I need to put this in the truck. I need to do that while I'm thinking about it because I don't want to. Uh... Well, if I lose this, I can't get into the Qualcomm or I can't log in. Watch out, guys! that in here it's nice and cool in here but if I shut the truck off it's not going to be that way much longer but we're going to crack the windows anyway get some air coming through here not going to leave the dogs in here though it's too hot for that it's just way too hot for that but we'll be right back all right we're going to go over here and see if I can get me a haircut real quick I'm thinking about getting a goatee I don't want to shave my you know, have it trim real nice and have like a small little goatee or something. I don't know. That would be cool though. People have been driving through the yard, it's probably them. It wasn't me. She about getting a haircut. I need one. I agree. It's time to get it right now. Right now. There's two barbers over here. One is actually called a barber shop. The other one is actually called a beauty shop. I think I'm going to go to the barber. Not that I have anything against beauty shops, but they may not even know what a crew cut is. And that's what we're going to get a crew cut. I'm just a It's just time for this haircut, man. They are open over there. But I'm going to check this out first. Got to get one, man. Gotta get a haircut. 
This is where we'll bring the U-Haul, uh, I guess, and put fuel in. Huh, he's open. I just saw somebody go inside. This is where I got my coffee this morning and yesterday morning. I just walked over here. Whew. They're open, eight to two. Oh wait, oh, eight to five. They are open. Let's see if we can get a haircut. We'll be right back. How y'all doing? Good. All right, guys. <laughs> I got my hair cut. That's where we got it from. See that up there? The Baron Barber Shop. Oh, my goodness. Woo, do I feel better, man. Now we're going to go over to RST and apply for a job. I wonder if he's going to recognize me. Man, I do feel better, man. Thank you guys for talking me into coming over here and getting this done. Oh, yeah. I should have listened to you guys a long time ago. <sighs> well, this isn't a truck stop barber shop, man. This is a regular barber, so it was easy to go in. And they were open. <laughs> we're going to go in. <laughs> I'm going to go in and say, hey, uh, Woody, uh, I, I need a job. Can I get one? I went in there with long here now. Yeah. We'll be right back. Hey, Woody, I want to apply for a job. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, it's not that long here, son of a bitch, that was here yesterday. Nice haircut. I love it, man. New <laughs> job, new look, you know? Yeah, I, I just told everybody. Man, I feel good. Why in the hell didn't I do this a long time ago? <laughs> I'm gonna get that thing ready to go over there. I'm gonna smoke me a cigarette real quick. Yeah, I, oh, gotta, I gotta go get the car inspected real quick. Okay. So while you're doing that, I'll go get that done. All right. And, uh, give me a call when you need me to come, come get you. I'll do that. And I'll tell you where it's at. It's, it's here in town it's somewhere. Up, it's in Magnolia. Five miles. So I'm going that same direction to get the car inspected. So. Oh, okay. So I have to get it inspected at Montgomery County. All right. Still Say recording. hi to Woody. Yeah. Uh huh. Hey guys. I, I I told everybody you were shy, camera shy. They said, why didn't you wait? I don't think they believe you. Yeah, they said, why didn't you get uh, Woody on film <laughs> so far? They said, he's been so busy. Yeah, I was on the phone uh, yeah. all, all day yesterday. So. And of course, we're going into yours all now for real to see if you're going to put up another, you know, I, but you're busy, so, man. So, um, dispatch is going to send a hard update to the Qualcomm that hopefully that fixes it. So. Okay. No, I was going to put all my info in there. And I got halfway in and it said shutting down and like, and we did a live feed this morning, right? Yeah, yeah. And I showed I it, watched, I said, yeah. this thing is shutting down on me. What the yeah. fuck, you know? It should, uh, if that doesn't, if the hard reset doesn't fix it, then I'll get with Chris and see what he wants to do. But okay. It yeah, just started acting up when I was on my way down. Because it would let me get partially in it and then, I, of course, I had to put all the info back. I said, well, I'm just going to wait, you know. It's it's nobody's fault. It, like you said, it's just, you know. Yeah. And the APU we can get fixed later. Um, That'll work. Until then, we'll because I literally just brought it back. From yeah, game, so. and that's why I switched them into there. I didn't want the truck to continue on. I because yeah. eventually it's going to want to reach. And when, yeah, and it, just keep an eye on it because it is a 2012. Um, so in these ones, they won't automatically reach you. So you have to watch the dash lights. When it says, then when you got to set. When the light comes on, you got to reach. Okay. Reach it. But it's got a brand new one box, decaf, and all that. So. It should be fine. I was having fun with it. I, said, I found your inverter. I got a small inverter myself, but I saw your little inverter, and, then, and I saw that string. I said, what is that string up there? Oh, the lights, yeah. Yeah, so I plugged in the inverter, plugged it in, and I said, look here, guys. We got blue lights in here, too. Yeah. So these, these two lights are not working 
right now, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, there was some other light covers underneath the, that cabinet under the fridge. Yeah. Uh, those were just the black covers. You can put the black covers on there if you want to. You don't have to touch them at all if you don't want to. Um, that, they don't that say that. That one silver switch on the dash, yeah. it, that was what that was for. There's a blown fuse somewhere, and I was just like, you know what? I'm putting somebody in the truck anyway. They don't need those lights. So. It would be nice if one was red, one was blue. And they can't deflect well, it a little bit. You can't do... I mean, technically, you're not supposed to use them anyway. So you I can know. just, if you go into California, though, you have to put the black covers on. You do. And so, if you go into Canada. But the black covers are, are in there underneath the. Um, All right. Underneath the. We'll probably put them on just so, yeah. you know. Manitoba, Canada, you can't have, they Correct. gotta have the covers on. Correct. I only know that because Rudy got stopped when he had his yeah. truck. Yeah, they will. Yeah. All right, man. Well, we'll be right back. Okay, on the way to you, Hall. I gotta put gas in this thing though before I get there. And I got the GPS on it right now. Here's the place across the road. There's a place next to us too, but this is a one way street, right? But we gotta go this way. in this and leave it run so I can watch the fuel because I don't have to fill it right I'll be right back they're out doing something they said 20 minutes they'll be back but we've been probably 10 minutes so hopefully they'll be back soon it is a warm day but I discovered right over there is a KFC I'm going over there to eat lunch as soon as I get done here uh, I'll call Woody but Woody was in this area I don't really expect him to have to come back I'll find out where he's at and if he's still in the area great if not I'll call an Uber you all messed up man they sent me here but they don't have the U-Haul storage to another location to drop my stuff off. Does that place have the U-Haul storage? I can call and see if she'll honor that, um, but um, no. the closest, that would be a center. The closest center would be... I need a U-Haul storage center that has U-Haul and will give me that 30 day free. I need that. Okay, that's gonna be in Conroe for 45. That's the closest place from where I'm at. That's the closest you haul near you, yes. Well, I'm Alrighty, we dropped our U-Haul off. We're waiting for our Uber. As soon as he gets back, we'll go back where the truck is. What a day, man. They sent me to three locations. Finally sent me here. But anyway, we'll be right back. I'll let you guys know when we get back. 
It'll be here in one minute. Man, that's pretty cool, ain't it? I'm just waiting for my Uber. It says it'll be here in one minute. <laughs> pretty cool. All right, guys. <laughs> it is absolutely the next day. Man, I'm sure glad I don't have to relive that. Uh, I, I couldn't get it through uh, the thick heads over at U-Haul that in my contract rental agreement and 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 you know first of all let, I want to go here with what I'm about to say there was one comment where this guy said I can't believe he showed up to his new company to his new job in a U-Haul well first of all I had things that was in that truck in my Marquardt truck that was mine now if I would have actually stored that stuff in Yankton then I would have had to say Woody I need to go back to South Dakota and grab my stuff in my mind that wasn't acceptable uh, you don't I mean you don't tell your company that you have to go get your belongings um, that was unacceptable so the best thing for me to do was to grab a U-Haul or a rider truck or budget or one of them and uh, I the reason why I went with U-Haul because they have their own storage I wasn't about to put everything that I took out of my my truck because I lived in that truck in into this truck I wasn't about to do that um, you want down come on you want down but I wasn't about to do that so that's why I rented the U-Haul in the agreement in my U-Haul uh, it said I had free storage for 30 days which was a U-Haul storage that it had to be a U-Haul storage and they sent me to two other places and they had storage but they didn't have the U-Haul storage in other words they weren't going to um, allow 30 day free storage so finally I, I just had to call U-Haul and say listen guys enough is enough what part of this don't you understand I have a contract here that says I got 30 day free storage and it's got to be a U-Haul what part of this that you guys aren't understanding and finally she said yeah and she gave me the right place I ended up dropping my U-Haul there too because I wasn't about because the U-Hauls were closing right so I wasn't about to take that U-Haul back to here and then have to get up this morning and start that crap all over again and, and deliver that U-Haul. So I called U-Haul and I said, can I please drop it here it, it, where, where I actually stored my stuff and uh, gave her all the info and she said, yeah. And I said, okay. I couldn't just drop it there because it would have been a $200 fine because it wasn't originally supposed to have been there. But uh, they did make it somebody else pull it in here. Um, but somebody they did make it where I could drop that and I did take an uber from over there to over here But it wasn't too bad. It was about 20 bucks. So uh, And then we come back here now. We don't have to deal with that now uh, All I got to do is deal with whatever Woody wants me to do whatever he wants me to do I am ready to go to work. I am ready to go. So it's whatever he wants me to do now and uh, And let's get on the road. I'm ready uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and close this out, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Look, they're sleeping. Look, 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 they're sleeping. Are you guys sleeping? Huh? Are you guys sleeping? Huh? As you can tell, we're, we're in the woodshed. Yep. And uh, I'm rendering a video. Yep. <laughs> and we're just kicking back, and we're relaxing until somebody Woody's doing here but uh but two other people did show up here I'm just waiting for Woody no need to other than taking my dogs out I, I'm not going in the office they don't really know me I don't really know them and the last thing I want people to do is having to trip over me right but anyway we're out of here thank you for watching and uh see what kind of day we can show you today I am a daily logger that's what I do but I'm trying to show you only the juicy side of everything about this. 
so still having the Qualcomm issues I don't know how they want to fix that every time I go in there and I try to set it up it it will actually say sorry we're shutting down and it won't let me finish and uh, he says it won't interfere with the log but I gotta log in right so it won't let me do that it won't let me log in I get started to log in and then it kicks me out of there so that's gotta let me log in because there's no driver on this truck but anyway that's just cosmetic stuff we just got to get that taken care of but anyway thank you for watching we'll see you tomorrow let's see what we can show you tomorrow that being said you guys have a good night later